Hi guys, Dave in Texas here, and what we're looking at right now is a fake Rickenbacker, okay? This is mine. It's been on loan for about six months now to a friend of mine, and uh, he's taking good care of it. There's nothing wrong with it other than uh, I got some problems with the uh, connector. You that go off? All right, jack plug's got a problem. Pickups are working. All right, this guitar has always had a problem with the pickups in that they're mounted on the inside of the body, which they shouldn't be. They should be mounted on top of the body uh, with uh, grommets and into the wood, right? And a friend of mine said he wants to buy this guitar from me, less the uh, uh, fake signatures on it. This won't be going with it. And uh, the R will be removed because they have to have a new tail because of what he wants done to it. He wants to buy this from me and he bought one from a, a trade tang but it came out to be a real stinker and he doesn't want to try to buy another one. <laughs> Which I really can't blame him. He's wore the paint off of this. Wow. <laughs> you so much he's worn off the paint off the knobs. Anyway, the thing is um, he wants to turn this into a real one. <laughs> He likes it so much, they said he really doesn't mind paying the price to have it fixed up right. Well, and I explained to him, that means taking these pickups out, filling in the router, routing holes, okay, taking the neck off, raising it up to accommodate the higher height of the pickups, okay, so you don't be playing a trampoline like a hundred thousandths off the top or uh, 9 million 64 you know off the, the fretboard strings and uh, possibly getting a new bridge for it okay and so that's gonna be a hell of a lot of work to do he wants to sound like a real Rickenbacker I said dude it'd be cheaper to buy a jangle box for 300 bucks and a chorus pedal and go from there you know it sound a lot like it or hell buy a uh, modeling amp that emulates a Rickenbacker sound you know what I'm saying I mean you can actually have a you can actually have a Les Paul uh, dialed in to sound like a Rickenbacker on my Amplify 150 and it sounds like a Rickenbacker being played anyway I want to do first of all is clean this thing up videotape it playing as a Rickenbacker should sound like, clean up any of the problems, fix this problem with the jack. Uh, I may change out the pots in this thing a little differently, change those up a bit. Maybe add a tone pot to it, right? Right here in the middle or out the side where it belongs on like a real Rickenbacker. And go from there. Okay, so hang in there guys. We'll start working on this. First of all, cleaning it up, tuning it up. New strings, uh, uh, set the pickups right, uh, set the uh, 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 thing up so it plays properly, and then plug it into a jangle box or to the amplifier and let it sound like a Rickenbacker. Let him hear that on the uh, YouTube, on this uh, video, and let me know if he still wants to go through all that expense, okay? Because it will be more than buying the amp or buying the jangle box and the chorus pedal to do all this work, okay? Because taking that neck off is a big chore. Now I can't guarantee I won't just screw the paint up a lot, okay? I still have to, I'd have to come in here and cut that paint loose, right, where the over uh, spray is, all around it, keep it from pulling the other paint off as I remove the neck, take this pickup out, and start steaming it to get that thing out of there, okay? And I'm not sure how deep that tenon is inside this guitar, but I think it's deep, because it goes into a solid piece of wood that goes the length of the body, okay? So this is a semi-hollow guitar. Okay, so just taking it off to look at, I found the issue with the uh, jacks, not the contacts. They're, those are perfect. But this wire is really stiff. And what I failed to do when I put this jack on here was to pull these wires through far enough that it wouldn't bind and catch uh, on one another and wrap in between this jack pole here, okay? And that seems to be the problem. I plugged it in and switched it on and no problems, but. I'll go ahead and put this back on right and uh, make sure that these wires have a good uh, snug pull on the inside to make sure they don't get bound again. And then uh, close her up 
and uh, see what we got, okay? So hang in there. Okay, I went back in and put the covers on, just temporarily, and the jack plate back on. Nothing, okay? So that's working again. No problems there anymore. Got that fixed. Now what else I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to set this guitar up. Uh, I'm going to lower these tuning knobs, obviously. He's got them up behind for some reason. Put those back where they belong. Clean them up. Clean the guitar up. Uh, get it set up for playing, all right? It's a little bit off on the uh, action again. So the pickup's right, and then I'll plug it into the amplify and record what it sounds like with a uh, modeling amp and see what it sounds like, or hear what it sounds like. more like a Rickenbacker sounds like. Okay? Saving a lot of money, okay, by a, a jangle pedal and a chorus, or by a Amplify 150 and turn it in and turn it on to Rickenbacker song that's being played, right? Hear that tone, and when we come back, we should have a Rickenbacker tone rather than this regular guitar tone. Uh, neck pickup. It's on both. It's not very strong pickups on this guitar. This is on the bridge. Everything's on 10 as far as uh, tone and everything's concerned. That's all tones it has on it, and uh, we'll do a direct comparison once we finish. So hang in there. What takes me hours will be just a few seconds, okay? Okay, so, uh, huh, I checked these uh, potentiometers underneath here, and uh, come to find out, this is prior to when I was matching a potentiometers up with one another, all right? And these are all long shaft potentiometers, you can see there's a lot of gap there. I didn't space those right, but anyway, I've got uh, a set of short shaft 500s that are matched. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and replace those anyway, and uh, they have to be replaced anyway to make things sound better, and uh, go from there. So basically, what I'm going to do is remove these strings, show you just taking them off, and uh, uh, clean this thing up, replace these potentiometers in here, and check the uh, cast, make sure they're still good. And just kind of reset this guitar up and re-modify it again uh, towards just a much better guitar sounding and playing. And go from that position. See what he thinks after that. Again, plug it into my amplifier, turn it on Jingle Jangle, and uh, see if he really wants to go to the trouble of uh, removing that neck. That is a hell of a job. Uh, putting his shims underneath that, or just build it up somehow, underneath that pocket so that they'll clear the uh, pickups once they're installed on the body of the guitar, right? I think once I finish with an estimate of what it costs to do all this, he'll go ahead and say, get it ready for a, a new setup and do it that way. <laughs> if you want to pay for that, then still use it rather than, uh, you know, have it completely rebuilt. Oh, I'm sorry, he wants to buy it. Of course, I won't be selling it with the uh, fake Rickenbacker name on it. That will be removed. So he wants to go out and buy one himself. That's you know, his problem, and I'll take a soldering iron, well, and get that R off there, right? And then sell it to him that way. He says, no problem. So, no problem there. So, check back, I'll be uh, setting this thing up. Take a little bit longer. Okay, even though I'm going to be completely redoing this guitar, I'm going to take these old strings off here because they're gross and they're dirty. And I may just go ahead and clean this board up because it's just really nagging at me. 
And what I do, I just snap them off in the middle uh, under tension so they pop right off. But I make sure to give enough room on both ends so I can wrap them among, around each other so they have uh, you know, under control when I'm throwing them away and they don't end up poking somebody in the trash. Okay? If that makes any sense. And this thing actually still has <laughs> the old cellophane tape on the uh, tail piece in order to get these things to stay inside the darn look at this to stay inside the darn uh tail piece because <laughs> it's just a pressure fitting right so i get all six of these and now i've got enough length on them right so i can wrap them into a circle and toss them away and that way they don't just get poked in the trash can and poke holes in the plastic or poke holes in their fingers that are kind of stupidly pushing things down and they're like me <laughs> like I said normally I don't do that when I have strings in there you know but sometimes I forget but I make sure to get them equal length so I have something to work with and it looks like when I took those off the bridge came off or the nut came off as well and that definitely needs some cleaning maybe a little filing to clean all that dirt off there look at that wow that's been used okay so anyway, that's the bone nut I cut and put on there for it. And uh, next step, of course, is to go ahead and to get inside that cavity, right? And completely rewire this thing. And we'll wire it up with a much better uh, set of matching uh, 500K uh, Gibson potentiometers, okay? So hang in there while we do all this good stuff. Okay, guys, we're back again. I took a little time off from the uh, Rickenbacker to work on some other stuff that came in. But what I'm doing again to this guitar, to make sure I've mentioned it and it gets in there, is that I'm putting on some uh, uh, old Gibson pots I had that been on two or three different guitars that matched up, okay? At the time I put these on, that's all I had, but these match, right? And the previous ones was before I was matching uh, pots. I was using orange drop caps, but I wasn't matching the pots up. And like I said before, I think I covered, but my buddy wants me to sell his guitar to him without the fakes on it. Uh, new pickups, you know, the toaster tots from, uh, you know, from uh, Rickenbacker, those are 300 bucks. And I'm saying there's about 400 to $600 more worth of work to be done on this thing to get it, you know, to sound more like a Rickenbacker does. And, you know, it sounds basically based upon the fact that it's it's up on the body and not inside the body. It gives that hollow sound. Put it on, on top of the body, it gives that tinny sound, thinner sound. Okay, so uh, we're going to continue on finishing this uh, pick guard up, right? Clean it up, and uh, let's hear what this thing sounds like and uh, plug in a few things to make it sound like a real Rickenbacker and see what you think and what he thinks. Is it really worth the money or should you just go ahead and get a uh, a uh, jangle pedal and the uh, modeling amp, or or a modeling amp. So hang in there. Okay, well I got it all back together again, nice and complete. And what I've got to do now is check to see if it's working. We'll check both pickups. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's always a scary thing once you button it up. So I had to push this. Uh, over to get to get past some wires in there, but I know you can hear that. Yep, it's all working. So uh, next thing to do is to clean it up and string it up, and then set it up with a. Uh, uh, jingle box type sound from my uh, Amplify 150 to prove my point to my buddy that wants to buy this guitar, okay? Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I'm polishing up these uh, this guitar and the best I can explain it to you, the difference between a polish and a wax uh, on some of the uh, types of wax and polishes is that the polish is to get in there and to polish that guitar up and get all the dead junk off it. Really rub it in there with some elbow grease. Uh, get that uh, top layer of slime off that lacquer finish or the varnish finish and uh, get a chance to get uh, every you know sweat mark and dirt off of it, right? Then the wax comes on afterwards the way I apply it to give it a hard wax shine 
and to protect that finish okay and if I, if I have it right the uh, polish has a polymers little tiny polymers for sanding type you know microscopic things to uh, uh, help you uh, get that crap off your guitars whereas the wax does not it just uh, you know it dries to a nice uh, clear or sorry it dries to a nice grayish uh, uh, hue and you're done it's ready to come off now Okay, guys, here's that Rickenbacker that's been set up. You know, like I said, we set up. <laughs> New strings, different setup on it, uh, different uh, uh, potentiometers, caps. I pretty much changed this all up, and what I did, I just went through and chose the Rickenbacker setting on my Amplify 150. Now, yes, it's going to be out of tune for a while, guys. Because it's brand new strings I put on about 10 minutes ago. And I haven't intonated it yet. Alright, that's back. So there you have it, guys. Basically, what I had to do is go and set the amp for Rickenbacker sounds. That's what I came up with, okay? It does sound like a Rickenbacker now. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is probably going to be the last time I shoot this year in my office because. The weather's getting nice out. I'll be out in my uh, workshop for a while doing the shots out there. Plus, I got the text I'm working on, so I'll be out there much more often. Okie dokie. And I've got a good laptop out there. I've got a Lenovo and a camera and lighting's all out there as well. So, anyway, any questions, give me a holler. Dave in Texas. Bye.